All right, quick demo, Tascam 32. Just went through this thing, it is working great. Um, both reel motors have been completely disassembled, the commutator's cleaned and the brush is checked um, and lubricated with uh, synthetic oil. All the switches and knobs have been uh, cleaned with the Deoxid D5 and then after about a 24 hour dry they were lubed with a Deoxid fader lube. Um, all the mechanics, the whole thing has been completely torn down. All the mechanics have been cleaned of old grease and re-lubricated. Um, the, uh, the, the two playback boards, the playback record boards, the, uh, the old op amps have been removed. Eight pin sockets have been put in place and uh, Texas Instruments Burr Brown series of op amps have been installed as an upgrade. Uh, there's another thing. Let me do a... Uh, that's, that was obviously going on. That's going onto the tape. That's coming off of the tape. And that's on the repro switch. Right channel, testing one, two. Left, Left channel, channel, testing, testing one, two. two. Uh, zero return button is hit, so it's going to rewind uh, back to zeros, thereabouts. And stop. That's what we just recorded. Here's the sink. Try this again. Basically, what this has is has a repro and a sync. Um, there's three tape heads in here. One is an erase, and two are playback. Uh, with the center one, the sync head being a record slash playback. So when you when you hit sync, you're actually hearing what you're putting onto the tape at that exact same time. There's no time delay. So um, with it unarmed. Uh, in sync, it's going to be playing back from the center tape head. I don't know if you can see it. You probably can't. That's what we just recorded playing back on the sync. This is repro. That's the other head. Tell you, it's not really good. They're a little bit worn, but not bad at all. They're very slightly worn. Right channel. Testing one, two. Left channel, testing one, two. The other thing with these Tascam 32s, they have a lot of solder joint problems. If you're not familiar with them, inside there's some, there's some monitor board that sits in like this. And then there's two repro playback boards, one per channel. Those plug into a motherboard that's right around here. And those solder joints um, are wave pooled and they have a, a horrible tendency of, um, and extremely common, the uh, solders get cracked. Um, so what has been done on this deck is every single solder on both sides of that motherboard have been retouched. Not just reflowed, new solder has been added. So that problem's done. is rewind obviously yeah the other thing to note is um, when you're playing back if you're listening to the headphones that's what it uses that monitor board for it actually has its own little I don't know it's like a 3 watt or 5 watt amplifier 
that's that's strictly for headphone use only and it uses all the electronics on those record and playback boards for the actual line out even these have been completely taken apart there's a there's a spring and then they hit a certain level and then there's a there's a string that's wrapped around another pulley um, and all that, I've, I've taken all that apart, so the thing has been completely redone. Nope, oh, you blew it. Just to show you when it when the bulk of the tape is at one reel or the other and you stop and you start some of these things when they have the real motor troubles um, they obviously they get very slow this is a two-speed deck also has a two track two channel um, plays at seven and a half and 15 inches per second Auto shut off. There's a tiny nick right here, and there's some little little scrapes or not scrapes. I don't know. Little nicks here on the knob faces, but everything else is really in nice shape. I mean, there's I got a little dust here and there. There's maybe a couple of little slight scratches, but uh, it's really a nice deck. All right, I think that's it. I appreciate you looking. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave me an email. I appreciate it. Take care.